Okay, so welcome back to the channel and what is episode two of uh, my little challenge series. And there's three more challenges that I've set myself for today's video. And then it's over to you to put yourselves to the test. Right, so I've just finished episode one of the challenge series and I hopefully you enjoyed that and watched that one. But in this episode, we're taking on very much a sort of short game. So what we're gonna look at, the challenge will um, consist of the flop shot, the chip and run and the bunker shot. Let's see how I get on. Okay, so we're gonna start this episode off with the toughest challenge, I think, of these three shots that I'm looking to execute this week, and that is the flop shot. It's certainly one that I struggle with. It's certainly the one that's got, uh, well, least room for error. And we're starting off with the toughest shot that I've uh, set up all day, if you like. We've got about 20, 25 yards to cover. We've got no green to work with. And the idea is that I'm gonna play five of these shots. I've gotta get them within 10 feet of the flag to class it as a win to me. And like I said, we've set up with an absolute stinker to get things going today. Wish me luck. Sit down. Well, do you know what? The mere fact it stayed on the green would probably be classed as success if I was put in that situation during a match. But in reality of the challenge, I've just gone one down. Again, not a lot of green open this club face just a little bit more I think come on and sit the out oh I think that's just outside isn't it oh my word that's cruel Right, okay, so my final flop shop challenge. We've gone a little bit further with this one and we've got a lot to clear. Not a lot of green to work with. And we're gonna go out in a blaze of glory. We're gonna go for the, uh, we're gonna go for the high one. Right, can we finish, don't forget, within 10 foot to finish on a positive. He's gone up high, has he got the legs? Oh yes, what a finish absolutely delighted with that committed yes right so the first challenge in this episode is the classic chip and run it's a shot that you should have in your arsenal maybe more for a sort of link style golf course not on the park than we're at today but this is a typical scenario where you do need to try and execute this shot and what i choose to play if you look at the flag situation here there's virtually no green behind that flag so trying to pay some kind of fancy chip shot from here is maybe not the right one. We've got a lot of green to work with, nothing between us and that flag. So we want to get that ball running, well I do anyway at least, on the flat as soon as possible. So don't forget, it's going to be five scenarios of similar to this, and I've got to see how I get on. And the challenge being that I've got to get this ball within 10 foot to class it as a victory for me. Let's see how we get on with shot number one. Okay, so it's running away. Has it got enough? I don't think it has, you know. Oh, it was the right shot to play. We didn't have enough, perhaps needed a little bit more loft on that club or certainly give it a little bit more from my perspective in terms of the swing. And I'm afraid we've started off this episode with a fail. Right, so the chip and run is uh, going okay so far, three from four, and this is the final one that I faced, and uh, no green to work with whatsoever, and again, this sort of type of shot lends itself for it, and I've got to say, I was really happy with the execution, got a nice little nip on this one off the tight lie on the turf, but it's very debatable as to whether or not I'd stayed within that sort of uh, 10 foot radius from the flag, but as you can see with our technical uh, measuring tool, I think we're all satisfied that that just about crept in within that 10 foot. So four from five from the chip and run, I'm happy with that result. Right, so the final part of today's challenge video is the bunker shot, is the green side bunker shot, and the challenge is this. I've got five shots and I've got to get the ball 
within a 10 foot raise of the flag to win the challenge. You'll see from the first hole we played today, I managed to do uh, well, I executed the shot quite well, popped it up quite nice. If you look at it, we sort of scraped in. I think uh, we're going for nine foot, but uh, that's debatable. I think VAR could have said otherwise. But we're one from one right now. Um, the challenge here really is that I can't carry this, uh, this. There's a big slope between me and the flag. So anything too short will drift away um, to that right hand side if I'm not careful. Right, I'll shut up for a bit while I concentrate. Ah, he's done exactly what he said. Watch this die away. Not the best of shots. It's without out of fail. I got very much under the ball and tried to get too much height into it. And as you can see, failed miserably. So right now, bunker challenge, it's one from two. Right, well, we're not making this easy because arguably this is a tougher bunker shot again and we've already just failed on that last one. We've got quite a bit of distance between ball and flag and uh, there's a bit of an off slope from right to left. So I class this as kind of a little bit difficult in my book, not, not my favorite type of shot. And perhaps the club I've got in hand, uh, I could walk back and change it, but I'm not about to do that. Anyway, come on, Andy. Roll out, roll out. Ah. Hence the change in club was needed because I played a 58 wedge, which I always play out of bunkers, but we knew once that ball gets up and sits down, it isn't gonna chase forward. So probably an error in judgment in uh, terms of the club I played. Either way, it's a failure. And at the moment, we just sit one from three in bunker challenge. That's a bunker shot. Right, okay, so the final part of our bunker challenge and uh, well, I've set myself up for a fall here with the toughest shot of the day. We've got no green to work with. We've got a fairly steep lip to get up and down over. And like I said, we've got to get this one stopping straight away. Don't forget, we've got to get this within 10 foot. We're two from four right now. I take three from five with a bunker shot any day with the challenge we've set. But the question is, I, have we got the game to get this up and down? And the camera behind the green is, uh, is in more danger right now. Right, come on, let's see. Get up, get up. That's a genius shot, isn't it, Han? It was worth the applause, that's what I don't understand. Gone three from five with the bunker shot. Toughest shot of the day. We probably stuck it closest. Right, so that's episode two finished. And I've got to say, I enjoyed that challenge and very much the same as what I said on episode one is that uh, it really focuses the mind when you're practicing your game of golf to set some targets. And I think that's what these challenges have done for me in today's video, that I was looking for something to create where, like I said, a bit of interest for you to watch and some targets for me, and really to see how my performance stands up. And in this sort of section of the short game area, I'd say it's okay, it didn't do too bad. I think there's certainly elements that I need to work on, which you can clearly see from within the video. That's the other good thing that it shows. Um, but overall, it, I think what it generally shows, this is the area that we don't practice enough and probably where we can make most of our shot saving and start to reduce our handicap, reduce our scores. But overall, like I said, today's performance, not too bad. Right, I'm done. Give me your feedback. Don't forget this challenge backfires to you now. Go out, take on exactly the same scenarios. Go on your practice round and set the scenarios up like I just did this morning and uh, see how you get on five of each exactly the same targets which you've got to aim for and uh, see how you get on anyway as ever thanks for watching give me some feedback down below always love your interaction that's me done on 18 at carden park i'll see you all soon